Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. I'm gonna take us through a flow that is gonna open up and stretch out your whole body. The actual purpose for this flow, personally, is something that I would do prior to snowboarding, just to have a full body wiggle and open up, because even those of you that love hitting the slopes, it's still important to make sure you're warm and your body is open and prepared for what's coming as opposed to heading straight up the mountain, which I know is really tempting to do. Uh, but it's something that I've found once I'm either just in my snow gear and I do it out on the balcony from where I'm staying or within the room that I'm in. It doesn't have to be on the slopes if you don't feel comfortable warming up and moving in front of other people, that's fine. This will just be a nice flow to just open up your whole body and feel good to hit the slopes, so let's go. Okay, first up, let's get into the ankles. We could start seated, clasping the hands around the front of your shin or just under the knee, and then making big circles at the ankle. The idea is to try and work the foot into end range. So if I'm pulling the foot up, I'm trying to close the gap here. If I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down as hard as I can, but build into it gradually, because if you do that straight away, you might just cramp. So start easy big circles and then start to ramp up that tension and you'll begin to get lots of heat in and around the ankle and into the shin and the calves and so on. So just a few circles each way. You can do this for longer if your ankles feel like they need it. And then let's switch to the other leg. Clasp around that shin. Nice big click. Start with some easy circles and then start to ramp up the tension a bit. Okay, we're going to stretch into the toes next. So bring yourself into a kneeling position. You might need some cushions or support here and you can bring your hands out in front just to assist if this feels too uncomfortable. So toes are hooked. I'm getting a great stretch into the soles of the feet. I'm also gonna have a little play around with pushing the toes down into the floor. Feel a bit more heat into the feet from there. I'm gonna unhook and sit onto the heels. And again, you might need a cushion or support or place your hands further out in front, just lift the hips a bit. And just stretching into the tops of the feet in this position, we're now gonna go back and forth and add in a squat. So I hook the toes, stretch into the feet, use the hands to lift the knees. And if you can't get the heels to the floor, that's fine, you just go to where you can. Have a bit of a wiggle around, like use your hands for help, just move about the space, rock through the ankles side to side. If you can get the heels down, think about just wiggling side to side like this. So I've got inner and outer edges of the feet. And if this is way too intense, you just sit on your bum and you do the same thing. So you just roll in and out. So that way we're working into lots of different positions into the feet. We're going to go back through the sequence. You can use your hands. You could try it without for a bit of a challenge. Lift up onto the toes, send the knees to the floor, grip the toes into the ground to help control the movement and open your hips. And then unhook, stretching the tops of the feet. You might find you wanna get a deeper stretch and you can do that by lifting the knees. And then come back, lifting into your squat, maybe without your hands, have a bit of a wiggle around, move around the space that you're in through these sort of duck walks, moving forwards, backwards, sideways, adding in those little rocks. Again, sitting on your bum if you need to. Should be getting lots of heat in those ankles now. And then we're gonna fire up the shins. So ankle flexibility, um, building up heat into the ankles, super important for that movement um, in your boots and on the board. So I'm going to activate these muscles in my shins and I can lean back and just lift the tops of the feet up, engaging through the front and then lower back down again, adding for a couple of seconds, adding a couple of seconds hold at the top of each one. You start to feel more muscle activation. Especially if you've had some time off, if you're used to, if you, if you enjoy snowboarding and you've had a bit of time off, like I go every year as much as I can, but definitely something that catches me out is making sure that I've warmed up or built some strength into my shins and my calves because they definitely feel it after day one. So whilst you're here, you should be feeling some heat in the front of the shin and you can also do your ankle rocks from this position going out and then we'll go back through the ankle sequence a couple more times. So from here, bring yourself back to your squat with or without the heels down, come up onto the toes, 
send the knees to the floor and then unhook, lift, back into that squat, have another wiggle about into it. Sit back down, maybe challenge yourself, not using your hands. Go for another five to 10 reps, lifting the tops of the feet up, feeling that heat into your shins. Maybe adding in some rocks, going in and out. And then let's go back through once more, lifting up, maybe even doing a few reps here, firing up into the calves a bit more. Just explore, have a bit of a wiggle, build some heat, knees down. And then again, back through that sequence one more time and change the order of things. See what feels good for you. Have a little go sitting onto your bum. And then last time through, just lifting up, activating those shins. Go for some rocks. Back into your squat and just have one more little wiggle about in the space, moving forwards, backwards and so on. From here, moving into your hips next, looking at rotation. We're going to go through this figure four position. So seated on the ground, have one foot against the back uh, thigh and you've got this figure four shape. You can use your hands to help lift yourself up. So I'm just gonna press through the hands, open up at the top, might get a couple of clicks in your hips. But from here, we're opening up the hips into rotation and also extending the hips at the top. A good stretch in both. Come down, you might try it without using your hands. Come all the way up, really squeeze your bum and feel that stretch at the front here. Also working through internal external rotation. It's a great movement, this one, but just go to where you can. Next up for the hips, we're going to go into a Cossack squat. You might find you need to elevate your foot on top of something, so a block or a chair. Uh, just be mindful. We're going to go into a wide legged position, come down into a Cossack. And in this Cossack, you can lift the heel. If your ankles are feeling tight, you might need to. Don't force yourself so low if you're feeling too much of a pull in the inner thigh. This will be great for building strength into the adductors as well. I'm gonna come up and go across. You can come all the way up at the top. You can move side to side, but we're now getting some strength as well, working on opening up into that flexibility into the ankles, knees, and hips. Keep moving side to side. Anything single leg squat as well is great to prep yourself for snowboarding. Once more each side. And then from there, hop back into your squat. Have a little rest. Legs should be feeling a lot warmer. Ankles should be feeling ready too. Next up, working into the spine. We're gonna do this from a squat position. So I recommend elevating your heels on top of something. If you know your ankle range of motion is limited and you're struggling to sit into that squat, without it feeling unbearable. So you want to find a position that feels comfortable for your body. And you could do this holding on to something too if you haven't got anything to elevate your heels. We're going to start with a rotation. So one hand is gonna reach in front, the opposite elbow reaches back, or maybe you can extend the arm reaching back here, and then just alternate side to side. You can also have a go at holding the ankle as you reach. Add a bit of a pause here at the top as well. Feel that stretching all the way through the spine, down into the lower back, into the hips. Next up, 
legs up, lateral flexion, opening up all the way through the side of the body. You can do this from your squat and just reach side to side, maybe with those heels elevated. You could also go into a half kneeling position and just move side to side and then do the same, making sure you do it both sides and just open up. I like to put a bit of weight into this back hand as I reach. And then from there, we're going into flexion. So from your squat position, again, heels up or in a half kneeling position or whatever feels better for you in a kneeling position as well. Reach forward and come up. Reach as far as you can and lift. Going through this, you're tucking the chin, rounding the spine. So that could be from this kneeling position. It's like in yoga, when you go into child's pose, reaching forwards and just rounding out and then sitting up tall again. So you've got that option too. If you're in your squat, have a little play with then bringing the hands behind you tucking your bum, lifting your hips, and then coming back into your squat. And as you're lifting your hips, you're really opening your chest. From here, hips could be up. If this is comfortable, add a little reach. So I'm gonna press through the legs, lift one hand off, open the armpit, and reach overhead into a reverse tabletop. Come down, same on the other side. Back to squat and reach forward. Reaching over, look towards the hand, open the hips. Back into your squat once more, just reaching forwards. And we're going to finish just with a stretch for your neck. So you've opened up ankles, knees, hips, spine and shoulders throughout that. And then finishing with the neck. So if you just squeeze your fist gently and take your chin to your chest. Across to one shoulder, do a nice big circle all the way up and over. Bring your chin down. And then go the other way. Opening up that range is going to help you if you're looking over your shoulder when you hear that pesky skier coming your way. <laughs> From there, looking over the shoulder and then to the other shoulder, side to side, just get your neck moving like a neck and then ear to shoulder and up, go for five. Gently squeezing the fist still, you'll feel a deeper stretch. Same on the other side. Last of all, look over one shoulder looking down and then looking up over the other shoulder five times. Same on the other, looking down over one and then up and over the other. Give your shoulders a roll forwards and a roll back. I hope you find that helpful for the next time you're on the slopes, just as a bit of a movement routine that you could do in the morning before you hit the runs. But for anyone that just needed to work a bit on stretching and opening up the flexibility today, that one is for you. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you know of anyone that these flows could help, then please send them my way. Thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you for the next flow.